In this video, I'm going to show you my dark template with bright, bold colors. And there's three things that I really like about this template. First of all, it's very easy to fill in with drag and drop placeholders for your images. Secondly, it's easy to customize your own brand colors and fonts in just a few simple clicks. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. And third, maybe the coolest thing is that it comes with an animated version of all of the slides. So let's jump into PowerPoint and see how we do this. And if we're in the template, what we can see is if we go to the overview tab here, that we have more than 70 slides that have been designed in a professional way with the most common layouts that you'll encounter and that you'll need. So you can just pick any of the slides that you like and then click on it and just add your content. You see there's placeholders for text and images that you can just use and reuse and you'll make a slide deck in no time. So let's have a look at those placeholders we're talking about. Let's take one of the slides here, for example, this one. And what you can do is you can just drag in any image that you like and release it and it will automatically fill in and keep all of the formatting in place. For the text, you can just override it, add your own title in this box, and it will automatically fill in. You can do the same for the other text or the icons. Those are all easy to change. Now there's multiple different slides. So for example, the chapter slides, if you want to use those, same here, you can just drag in the image. And then if you right click, crop, you can always adjust the image if you want a certain selection or certain part of the image. So that's very easy to do. And as you can see, there's also multiple slides with, for example, mockups. And also here you can just drag in the image and it will automatically fill in. Just look at that slide and how easily we've created it. Now, the cool thing is this works with multiple and different placeholders as well. So let's say we have three in this case and let's do the design tab in this. This time, let's go to icons, images, and here let's maybe say we talk about construction. We can select different images related to construction, just like this. Click on insert, and then it will automatically populate in that slide. If you want, you can always select one, right click, crop, and adjust the position if you want a different position of the image. But generally, it does quite a good job at positioning everything in the center. And that is how easily you can just pick one of the over 70 different slides that have been designed in this deck and just add your own content to make a slide very fast. Now let's move on to the customization part because that's a really cool thing. What I've done at the top is I've added a practical slide. So I'm using this three part, three color palette for this design, and that is important. So we use these three colors, which means if you have a different accent color than the yellow, for example, you can easily change that. For the font, I'm using the standard Aptos. You can always change it if you want. So if we go to the design tab and we go to variants, here we can see colors, and then you scroll down to, for example, customize colors. And if then instead of the yellow accent color, you want to use, for example, a green one, you can select the green, press save, and just look at that, the entire deck, I'll put it on the overview again, the entire deck has been changed with your brand color. So you get a totally different look and feel of your slides. And of course, the images that have been added will remain like that. So you don't have to change any of those, which is pretty cool. Now, when this goes for any color, so if the yellow is a bit too bright, you can always go to the design tab again and select any other color palette that you like. Let's, for example, say we want to have a black and blue. This makes it entirely blue, where you can see all of the different slides on the left. Everything nicely changed. I made the contrast in such a way that all of the colors, if you use a bold color, any bold color will work by just changing that accent color. You can also change the formatting to purple, for example, just like this, where we go instead of the black, we've made it dark purple, and then the accent color is now that lighter purple. So you see everything remains in a very consistent style, and that's what we want to achieve with this template. Now let's move on to the third part, which is the animations. And for that, if I put it in preview mode, we can see that the slide deck has been animated. So if I skip through the slides, all of the different slides, they have been animated and they remain and keep that color. So also if you add images, you can just add in your pictures, but the animations will stay in the presentation. So you can see all of the content is flying into the slides, which is pretty neat and a very subtle effect. I didn't animate them too much, just a little subtle touch. I think that goes best with this style of presentation. It's also easier on the eye for the audience to spot. Now, if you don't like the animations, there's always a version included without animation. So you have both of them available if you purchase this template. Now, the way I've done these animations is in two different ways. And that is important for you to know if you ever want to modify any of those. So if you go to the animations tab and then animation pane, you can see that in here, we don't see the animations. And that is because we have to go to the slide master. So if we go to slide master and here in the slide master, you can see if we select one of those, 
the text boxes have been animated in the slide master. So they will apply on all the different slides if you make copies as well. That is cool because it makes it very convenient for you to duplicate slides, to create new slides, add your own content and the animations will keep in place. Now keep in mind if you have added content that isn't in the slide master, for example, if we go to the title slide, here we can see the large text box. This has been animated separately. All of the rest, all of the other items have been animated in the slide master. So if you ever want to change something, make sure that you look either in the slide master or on this slide if you want to adjust the timings. But this makes it very easy, I would say, to create presentations in a fast way. At least that's how I do it. So if you want to download this really cool template with the bold color, you can do that via the link in the description below. And you can just start customizing it and making your own slides and versions with it. You'll have both the non-animated as the animated version, and you can play around with both, customize it and make it your own. So if you want to purchase this, you can do it via the link in the description below. Definitely let me know what you think of this template. And if you're looking for extra slides, you can always ask me. I'll see what I can do. Once you purchase the template, you will have a lifetime access. So you can always download it again in the future, even with future updates. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.